There's been this new sensation going around lately called vlogging, so I guess I just wanted to take it for a roll. If you guys don't know, why wouldn't you know? I am Mulan. I was a star in a Disney movie. I am pretty much a female role model for the next generation of women who will become great warriors to the rest of the world or something. I really don't know what much to discuss in this vlog aside from how I've been. I guess what's been on everyone's mind. What have I been doing since my movie finished? Well, as you know, I had declined the offer from my emperor to serve as his advisor. Lately, I've just been hanging out at home. And you might think that might be a great peaceful living after all that I experienced, but no. To be honest with you, I'm getting rather bored. I don't know, man. Something changed when I went to fight with my fellow people against the Huns, and I just wish I could kick some ass again. What's a girl to do, right? I miss blowing up some heads and severing off some limbs. Surprisingly, for such a beautiful girl like me, you would think that I would like to live the rest of my life in peace, but not really. And you know what else? I guess you guys that know of my dear friend Lee, he was the commander of my army during the time that we fought against the Hun. Afterwards, he had been trying to spend a lot of time with me, and hey, I was down for it. He was pretty cute. We had developed a pretty strong friendship, I would say, past the fact when he found out that I was actually a woman and not a man. After that, things went well. I don't know what's up with this kid lately. I've really been very nervous lately. I would never expect this out of the commander of an army. Instead, he's very jumpy whenever he sees me. He's very shy. Every time I try and talk to him, he gets all nervous and starts blushing and then laughs and nervously and walks off. And I mean, what the hell? Hey, I'd be down for going out on a, as you say, date with him. If he just asked me, God, what is with boys? You know what I'm saying, ladies? They show interest in you and then they just back right off. Like, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to be an empowering woman and ask him out myself? <sighs> No. I mean, surprise, surprise, I do miss Mushu and his ridiculous jokes that half the time aren't even that funny. But hey, it was always a nice breath of fresh air, as opposed to me, who was so clever, versus him, who was not. We made a good team, you know? I just want to be a soldier again, but I don't want to leave my parents. You know, it would go well if Lee came and swept me away, and we fought in the army again, and we made awesome love, and had babies who fought in the army, and we just lived happily ever after, but... Until Lee says something, I'm stuck here. I hope I didn't sound too angry to you guys. It's been great vlogging with you. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully you'll be seeing me again on the front lines. Bye! It's time to tell the truth. I couldn't really find like a, a particular outfit that would really match for Mulan because I don't really have many uh, Asian clothes. I don't know why I picked Mulan. I thought maybe because I was pale and I had dark hair that it could work, and also because she is a badass. I have, you know, these shoes, which apparently they were inspired by the things that Chinese women used to wear, so that works, but it's not like you can see it on camera. Unless I just, hey, I'm Mulan, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. I mean, I put on the super deep red lipstick because Mulan's lipstick color of choice is red. The truth for this week is, what Disney movie or movies touched you as a child and why? I think there's several Disney movies that I would have to say would be my favorite and that really affected me when I was little. My top five favorite Disney movies as a child, and I mean of course still are, The Lion King, Aladdin, Nightmare Before Christmas, Mulan, as, of course as I said, and The Little Mermaid. I remember when I was a child I had all of them on VHS, I know. Remember the days of VHS? Cray cray. I had pretty much all the Disney movies on VHS. I remember on some weekends I would spend the entire day in front of the TV watching those Disney movies on repeat. I was a, I was a fucking wizard. I knew how to rewind that damn shit, and I would just rewind it, play it again, and I, it would be like a setup movie. They'd be like, today I feel like the Lion King in Aladdin, so then I'd watch that like all day. I don't know how my parents let me get away with that. I mean, well maybe it was because I didn't just do that, like I actually, I doodled while I was doing it as well. Whenever there was like a, someone would start singing, I would sing along and start dancing around the room. When I was little, my mom and I would always dance to, oh I just can't wait. To be king song is I don't know what it's called, but every time a song would play, I would jump up and go crazy. I don't know what it is about those movies. I would say it's an American thing, a part of that American childhood, but I know that Disney has spanned to other countries as well. And I just thought that it would be a good way for us to all go back into our childhood in a sense. So anyways, I will see you guys next Monday. Well bye! Maybe I should like twirl out because I have a dress. Well bye! You didn't even catch that. Oh well, it's okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Slido Cheese. <laughs>
Oh, I just can't wait to be 